Hi there, this is Mark. Today we are going to take a brief look of Adobe Illustrator. That is if you want to start using it for painting. Well, before we get right into this video, if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and not just the subscribe button, use the bell icon so that you get notified every time i drop a new video so if you have been making use of photoshop if you have been making use of illustrator from 2019 when you first install it this is the minimal workspace you are going to get that is the essential workspace that came along with the photoshop illustrator 2019 oh my god photoshop that came with illustrator 2019 and also 2020 so right here i have illustrator 2020 and um this is the default workspace that came along with it so for digital artists you really don't need much or you don't have to do much if you want to start digital art with illustrator so first um for us to be on a safer part and for it to be easy for you to understand very well i am going to switch the workspace to the default essential which is really supposed to be from this minimal workspace we have it but before i do that let me just give you a basic intro of this so on the right side we have the properties and we have the layers and we also have the library so the properties you, you can use that to adjust some certain things on your workspace which is practically really good if you are doing designs and some other stuff in illustrator but not really good for art and over here we have the layers which this i know it's really essential in terms of art so right here we have the tools the minimal tools which you can really be using and for digital artists all the tools you really need in drawing in illustrator you already have them right here and there is minimal toolbar which you have right here so you can just really go ahead and start drawing with this workspace but if you really want more and you want to do something more advanced and you just really want your workspace to be messy and so on well i'm really going to show you that so first if you want to do that you have two ways of changing the workspace into the default illustrator workspace first when you look up to the right part you find that you find that, that we have essential at this part if you click on this drop down menu you'll be able to get some different workspace which you have right here you can see that we have the essential classic we have the layer printing printing and proofing tracing typography and web well if we switch over to the essential classic this is the word this has taken us back to the default illustrator workspace that is really really cool and really advanced for us to make use of well it doesn't really matter on the workspace but as long as you know your software the workspace doesn't really matter you can navigate with shortcuts or you can just navigate to whatever you want at that particular moment so for digital artists things you really be needing in illustrator to start drawing is just first you're going to need a move to so let me just say i have a little bit of shape right here and um i give that um, a different color somewhere around red is okay you will need to move to for moving object left and right or along your workspace and you might also want to be making use of direct selection too so that you'll be able to directly edit some parts in illustrator that is if you are drawing and you have a little bit of correction to do you don't really need to delete everything you can just make use of the direct selection to to adjust some certain parts which is really going to be easy for you instead of making use of the ctrl z or trying to erase one thing or the other so right now the next thing you are going to be needing is the pen to to create your custom lines and so on now most times the pen tool is really really necessary but if you have your digital tablet i might really say you won't be making use of the pen tool but in digital art the pen tool is really really necessary because sometimes you might just find out that the only way for you to get through that particular part is making use of the pen tool and the most interesting part of this pen tool is that the moment you know how to make use of the pen tool in photoshop or any other program that is how it is across the whole software except just of minor changes but for the curves and so on everything is just the same you don't really need to stress yourself so if you are familiar with the pen tool and can make use of the pen tool in photoshop here in illustrator it's just the same thing there will be no difference for you in making use of the pen tool in illustrator so i'm just going to hit on escape and hit on ctrl z to 
undo that because I don't really need that. So the next two you will need in as a digital artist is probably the line two and the shape two, but mainly you really don't need those lines except you are the type that do um something like the um architect kind of drawing a house or some other stuff or you really like drawing with shapes then you'll be making use of the shape to in creating several shapes and turning several shapes into something else for illustrator is really amazing making use of shapes it's really flexible in converting shapes into some kind of other shapes which you might really need just not like photoshop photoshop is just something like um i really don't know what to say but making use of the shapes in illustrator is more perfect than making use of the shapes in photoshop it is more flexible than shape in photoshop so the next important tool you'll be needing as an artist is the brush too so the brush tool it is used for drawing and so on i have various ways of customizing your brush right now you can see that there is no pressure sensitivity options right here just because i am making use of my mouse but if you're making use of a digital tablet you have to create a new brush that is going to support the pressure sensitivity option and in order for you to do that you just have to go over to this part where you have the basic well if you don't have the basic right here just make sure to check your workspace that you are no longer in just essential you are in essential classic and go over to this part click on that drop down menu and hit on this plus icon to create a new brush just leave on that and hit on ok and it's going to give you the calligraphy brush option windows where you'll be able to customize your brush so when you click on this drop down menu all these options will be enabled for you that is if you have digital tablet connected and the driver properly installed in your pc you will get all these options enabled for you so if you want to draw with the pressure you just have to set this to pressure and you might want to set the size to whatever you want and the variation you can set the variation to wherever you want now you can hit on okay you, your new brush is now created for you right here <clears throat> now when you grab your pen <clears throat> when you grab your pen and you draw you'll be able to make use of the pressure option now with that same brush you created if you make use of a mouse you are going to lose the pressure option because there is no tablet connected to that and you also have the option of increasing the size and decreasing the size of the brush so i'm making use of a mouse and everything is a little bit nasty right now so if i switch back to my tablet and you'll be able to see that so if i decrease the size somewhere around this you can really see the difference between the sizes and so on so that is one important tool you're making use of as an artist in illustrator so another tool you would like to make use of is making use of the blob brush well let me really show you the difference between the paint brush too and the blob brush too so i'm going to create a line with the brush to the regular brush to in illustrator then i'm going to grab the direct selection to the direct selection to if i click here you can see that i can adjust the line of this brush convert it into any way i like and into any shape i like with the direct selection too so if i go back and i make use of the blob brush too and i draw with the same pressure if i grab the direct selection too and i click you can see that i can adjust the width not only the width i can also adjust the length and all that things now you can see the difference between the regular brush tool and the blob brush tool now the blob brush will give you the ability to edit the width and the length of your line now you can tweak the line in something else or turn it into something that you really really going to be okay for you or really nice but with the regular brush tool you are only limited to editing only the stroke changing the length of the stroke and changing the curves of the stroke you don't you won't be able to edit the width except you expand this stroke which you just created and most times it's not really advisable so most artists prefer making use of the blow brush than making use of the um regular brush to in illustrator but for me i just prefer using the regular brush to in illustrator and there is one important tool which you will never want to miss which is the pencil tool now this pencil tool you can use this for shading very well so let's say we have this right here and i 
one shade i can switch over to this and with the pen too i can just draw and give us some kind of shadows or just some kind of stuff just like this and um i'm going to close it then i can just let a color right here and you can see i just filled it and there's some kind of settings you can do which is going to automatically fill it up for you when you double click on the pencil to you are going to get the pencil to option now when you click when you just check this little box you have right here few new strokes and hit on ok wherever new shape you just create with the pen tool it's going to automatically fill that for you so let's say i want to do some kind of crazy stuff right here and just join it now you can see it's really going to automatically fill that for you now these are the most tools which which is really really required in drawing in illustrator there is nothing much which you want to do then for the eraser tool the eraser tool it's kind of like a little bit frustrating than the one in photoshop and photoshop is just a direct erasing which you can do but illustrator is not something just like that as you can see i'm not able to erase any part of this because it is a shape now for you to do that all you have to do you just need to click on that go over to objects and expand and hit on what okay so now you can grab the eraser to and you'll be able to erase so you can only erase a shape which you have just expand in illustrator it's unlike photoshop where you can just erase anything and in the given time as long as you rasterize the layer you can just do that or you create it in a new layer you can just erase it anytime you want but in illustrator it's not like that so you can also see that the lines i created with the pen to i'm unable to what erase those lines but remember i click on it and go over to object expand and then hit on the eraser so again i will be able to erase those lines and the interesting part of this erasing tool in illustrator is that you can also edit the places which you erase turning it into something else that is really going to be cool and make so much sense for you now coming to the two parts those are just the basic things you will need as an artist i won't be going over all the whole tools in illustrator because there are so many tools but you really don't need them when it comes to art the basic tool you are going to be needing all the tools you'll be needing as an artist in illustrator i've just shown you guys the whole tools and probably you might want to make use of the magic one too which you can use for selection now this the selection of this is kind of very different from the selection in photoshop now this speaks according to colors when i click on the red it's going to pick all the red and when i pick on black it is going to pick all the whole black in my workspace now with this you'll be able to adjust all the whole colors at once in your workspace just like an easy way for you to make use of the global edit feature present in illustrator but those is that is just for practically graphic designers and since you're not an artist you really don't need all those stuff so there are so many tools right here which you can go ahead and experiment but <clears throat> anytime i paint in illustrator or i try to draw in illustrator these are the basic tools that i use in illustrator so let's go over to the right part now coming over to the layer part the layer part is a little bit tricky in illustrator unlike photoshop we have a layer and we also have a sub layer in illustrator when you look at this layer i have right here you can see that we have a drop down arrow which tells you that we have some certain things inside of that layer just like illustrator layer is just like a group in photoshop so when i click on this drop down arrow you will be able to see that everything we have right here on our workspace is being created into a separate layer in illustrator so if i grab one from here so i'm just going to just select everything right here so when i click right here like if i click this little cycle you can see that what this is what we are selecting we're not selecting the first red rectangle which i created so when i click something else right here you can see what we are selecting something we don't even know exists this is it you can see what i'm selecting and when i click here you can see what i'm selecting now if i said i want to delete one of these i can just drag from here and drop into the delete icon and i'm going to delete that so i can click on anyone 
drag and i will delete so if i drag everything on layer and put it i won't be able to because there is no new layer right here so the moment i click on create a new layer i will be able to drag this and delete everything on my workspace is really going to disappear it's unlike photoshop which you can just create multiple layers and you see the multiple layers you are creating but inside of illustrator you can have one layer and have up to a thousand multiple layers stacking everything into one particular layer for you so whenever you are drawing or whenever you decide to trace in illustrator it is always advisable when you import your image so i'll quickly get something which we can work on all right so we have this right here i'm just going to use this as an example so we have this right here so let's say we want to trace on this now you can see that we have this on the new layer filling the whole layer separately and just like in photoshop it is not advisable to draw on your reference layer you always want to create a new layer now if you grab the brush to if you grab the brush to the brush to and you start drawing when you go back into your layer parts you can see that we have the two lines we just created as a sub layer right here but this is not really really good in most cases so what is advisable to do so i'm going to delete these two layer okay so now at this point doing that you don't have a total control of your layer so because you can just say okay i'm done with this layer and you might want to drag and delete you're going to delete everything you have in that layer leaving you with nothing or you can say let me lock down this layer and uh, try to do something else you wouldn't be able to do that so in order for you to fix those issues at the beginning so once you have your reference photo on a new layer or a separate layer you just want to create a new layer right here which you can use to start drawing on top so whatever i do right here I wouldn't be able to get it inside of this layer so everything i do right here now it's going to be inside of this new layer and what if you want to create a sub layer which <clears throat> you just want to do something so you can come down to this icon which is it create a new sub layer when you create that it's going to create a new layer for you so whatever you do is going to be placed on that sub layer but if you just start drawing it's going to automatically create a sub layer for you right there inside of illustrator so when you click on that again you can see that we have a layers inside a sub layer so the layer part in illustrator is so much confusing but when you take out your time and go through it it is really going to help you so much that it's really going to be easy for you to start making use of it well as a first timer in illustrator it is really going to give you a whole lot of stress or trouble trying to make use of the layers but making use of it with a little bit i've shown you it's really going to be easy and not give you any stress when you try to make use of those layers so enough of this i'm going to delete this because we don't need that grab the move to highlight everything and hit on the link because we don't need that so there are some other things i would really like to show you which is really going to be necessary for you so just like in photoshop the way we have a brush panel in photoshop we also have a brush panel with several brush in illustrator so in order to do that in order to review that you can go over to windows and um brushes or you hit the f5 key on your keyboard to bring out your the brush panel so you can see that we'll have all the brushes present in illustrator but not everything and i'm going to show you how to get some of them right here so you have the option this is the brush we just created not too long ago so this is some brush this is another brush so if i grab my pen my pen and i click and create a stroke you can see the kind of brush we have right here so let me increase that so you can see so you can see the kind of brush we have right it's a kind of an interesting brush so when i use that to you can see the kind of brush we have right here but the errors with all these brushes that there is no pressure sensitivity so you can create yours and give it the pressure sensitivity option so we have this brush right here see how different it is some kind of like a decorative brush and so on then we have the basic line brush which is this in so i'm going to select that and 
the basic client brush well that's just that basic client brush. so what if you want to check if illustrator have other brushes aside of this just like photoshop so when you click on this menu you will be able to see open brush library you can see that we have arrows artistic borders brush tool decorative image brush vector brush welcome sees the brushes so let's click on that and see what we are going to get so i'm going to put this one side and drag this to this part so when you click on this drop down menu and try to drag this and open it so you can see that we have various brushes which you can make use of so we have this right here so this is really good for you to make use of here in your tablet so we have every other options right here which you can make use of. so we can see go back there and um go over to this part open brush library and um decorative brush so we can find out any other brush so let's say elegant color and flora brushes so this is what we have right here you can click on any one and you can draw you can see what it's really going to create for you you can use this to add a little kind of designs to your artwork which is really going to make it pop or really make it outstanding now you can create your own blush brush library in illustrator where i'm not really going to go over that because i don't want this video to go much longer than it's supposed to be so we have the brush panel just like in photoshop so you can dock this into any part which you can use at any given time and so on well there are some extra things which is really really helpful to artists but as you keep going in illustrator you'll be able to learn all this stuff something like the life paint the mesh to um and um some other really stuff that is really going to help you color quickly in photoshop like um, that is really going to help you color quickly in <laughs> illustrator man i've got used to photoshop almost every time photoshop photoshop and photoshop well so there are other things you can use in illustrator that can help you color quick in illustrator something like making it a random swatches field to create multiple to create multiple colors in one artwork or something like making use of the effect present in illustrator and have some of those artistic effects present in photoshop also in illustrator which you can make use of so as we keep going we will be able to be covering most of all these aspects of art in illustrator that is really going to help you well this is just the basic introduction of how you can start painting or get started with illustrator or just a basic introduction of digital art in illustrator the things you need to know the things you need to know how to use and the things you don't really need to bother yourself about if you just want to draw in illustrator so we have the um appearance panel which is practically not necessary for us and the graphics panel is still important and in illustrator one thing i love in illustrator we have various ways of applying colors so much various ways so we have our colors right here in which you can pick from we have our color guides from here as well we have colors from here this is the stroke colors and we also have the few colors which is swatches and so on then we also have this option where we can also pick colors and you can go over to windows and um open up some options like the color guide open up the swatches and you can also open up the um gradient which is already right here and from the gradient and in the gradient you can also pick single colors through your color pickers just like in photoshop and also from the appearance panel you can also apply colors so in illustrator we have multiple ways of doing one things in different ways so i'm going to leave you guys with this basic and a little introduction of how to get started with digital art in illustrator as we keep going you're going to get used to it and start making use of it because sometimes in some of my video which i'll be creating in the future i'll be mixing up illustrator and photoshop together i'm going to sketch in illustrator i'm going to sketch in photoshop send it into illustrator and do an outline and also paint it in illustrator but you should know that it's all it's not really going to be like painting in photoshop it's really going to be a vector and not a raster painting so that brings us to the end of this video and 
I hope this really gets you started with Illustrator. That is, if you have finding it difficult to paint with Illustrator. So, see you guys in my next video and make sure that you stay creative.